Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. citizens prepare to toast their champagnes to 2022, the story is different for a 39-year-old man of Lusaka's Kuku compound identified as Alex Mlea, who sadly will have to spend his new year in a hospital bed nursing brain injuries, which he sustained after his beloved wife poured hot cooking oil on him. Mr. Mlea has narrated to Kamnet News what he thinks might have been the reason why his 32-year-old wife Elizabeth Muete opted to disfigure him. One guy called me and said, hey my friend, do you know that that guy was going out with with your wife is no more. I say what? And I put the phone on loud. My wife, she she heard the story. I don't know, maybe is what upset my wife. I don't know. He adds that he suspects his wife might have been agitated by the fact that he asked her to change the title deeds to a plot she bought using his resources from her name to his name. And I said, Madam, keep this money. I have a plan. The time I came from South Africa. I asked her, Madam, where is that man? I was with my brother. She said, oh, I made a case. I said, which case? She said, I bought a plot. I said, I didn't, I didn't tell you to go and buy a plot. And then she went there to bring the papers. I find that on the papers, there was no name for me. I just find the, the name for, for my wife and the brother to my wife. And I said, you need to go and change the name. I told my brother. Get my NLC and go back there. Mr. Mlea adds that the hot cooking oil was headed for his face, but that his quick reflex action saved his face, which saw the hot cooking oil landing on his neck and later on his back. When I just entered in the house, and then she said, I'm sure it will be your last time to see. I'm sure you always look the buttocks of women. I'm sure you will never see them again. And then I say, what's the problem? Before she answers, uh, that's how she spilled me the cooking on my my face, and I tried to save it so that it she can burn on my what's it, on my face. And I tried to learn. I gave her the baptize. She hammered again. And when asked if he will forgive his wife for her actions, the man says he has already forgiven her, but only wants the law to take its course. Even the time she just burned me and she ran away, and I called all my neighbors. I said, let us pray. I say, God, this person, she doesn't know what she's doing. If there's something which is using her, then I say, me to my side, I forgive her. With all my heart, I forgive But what I need is, I need uh, the police to work accordingly. I want the police to work accordingly, professionally. And police spokesperson Ray Hamonga says a manhunt has been launched for his wife and has appealed to members of the public who knows her whereabouts to report to the nearest police station. This incident happened on the 28th of December around 22.30 at the couple's house. We are appealing to members of the public that may have know the whereabouts of Elizabeth Muete to report to the nearest police station. The one thing, however, that will never be erased from Mr. Mlea, also known as Man Mule, is the fact that he loves music and says he will continue to express himself through music. Prudence Chota, reporting for Kamitv News. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.